Yo, 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 everybody. We are back here again today for another exciting video. Yet again, back here with some more Pokemon card pack openings. I've got a little bit of an addiction going now. We've This channel has pretty much become a Pokemon pack opening channel, which is honestly okay with me. Um, I haven't done much gaming recently, um, and I've been really enjoying opening up packs, and the pack opening videos have been actually performing really well on the channel, so... Um, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, so today we have, I believe, four, five, six, only seven packs to open um, here in this episode, but we're doing some sets that we haven't actually done before, so I'm pretty excited. Um, set number one is Sun and Moon Forbidden Light. We have four of those, and then we also have three Fates Collide packs, which I'm pretty excited about. So I believe these packs were like pretty much 10 or $11 um, at my local GameZilla, and these ones were 5 to 7 I honestly, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so I think we're going to rip open the Forbidden Light first. Um, so this is the, just because it's the one we have the most of, and I think there are some more valuable cards in the, uh, over on the Fates Collide set, so... So we do not get the good code card here, although I know there are some sets that the code card doesn't matter. I really don't know if this is one of them or not. Um, I really, really, really don't know. I think it's four to the front for the Sun and Moon set, so I think that's what we'll do. Um, so we start with a electric type energy. Then we have, oh my god, okay, wait. We have Spupa, um, Tyrant, we have Bonnie, we have Dewpider, we have Scatterbug, we have Inkay, then we have a Gumi, we have another Gumi, um, a Reverse Hollow of Flabebe, and then the final card is just a normal Sylveon or rare. So, again, we didn't get the uh, the good code card, so I wasn't really expecting anything great out of that pack. Um, but that is perfectly fine. We've still got a few more to go. So yeah, we're just gonna open up all the Forbidden Lights first, and then move on to the Fates Collide after that. Um, sometimes I enjoy doing the kind of back-to-back -back thing, but I also find that it's, it's just a little bit easier to, um, to do it the other way. Um, and also, I will say that uh, the code cards will be in the description of this video. I know in, I think, there are some video. it's kind of hit or miss, it depends on the way I'm recording the videos, but sometimes the video will be kind of, uh, like the, the code cards will be actually shown in the video, sometimes they'll be in the description. It's been kind of hit or miss, and I really haven't figured out the way that I like to do it best. Um, but, again, I'm still fairly new to the whole opening cards, uh, you know, on YouTube thing, so just bear with me, we'll get there. Um, any suggestions are would be very great, and um, now that we have this next pack to can't even speak English, now that we have this next pack open, we see we get another bad code card here, but we do now know that for this set it is the good old four to the front. Okay, so we start ourselves off with a grass type energy. Then we have a Gabite. We have a Sligo. Zygarde. Gibble. Friggin' love Gibble. Clauncher. Noibat. Pancham. Esper. Reverse Hollow of a Bergmite. The final card is an Avalog. So, again. We haven't really seen much luck here so far, but that doesn't mean that the luck will not come. Um, we're only two packs in out of seven, so we still got time to make a good pull. Um, still two more forbidden light card or two more forbidden light packs left as well, so still some time for these packs to redeem themselves. Although it's looking like it's not going to be this third pack that does it. Three of the bad code cards in a row. Um, We'll do our usual four 
to the front and starting with a steel type energy, ultra space. Um, we have a breaks in, a doublade, gibble, clauncher. We got Noibat, Pangchum, Esper. Whoa. A Volcanion. What is that? 31 out of 131 in the set. Um, let's see if we're looking at the numbers here. So that is a Volcanion Prism Star card. A very cool looking card. It's worth about $1.38. It is a Prism Rare. So that was actually a pretty good pull. And the pack ends with Torterra there. So I think we are actually going to sleeve that Volcanion on there because, again, it, it is more than just your average rare or reverse hollow. I've pretty much officially stopped uh, sleeving my reverse hollows because at this point there are so many that uh, it's pretty much become pointless for me to do so. so. I also had to go out and get some new sleeves because we, through all the past videos we've done, I used up a whole thing of 100 sleeves. So that's pretty ridiculous. But again, I was sleeving hollows or uh, reverse hollows at that point. So that's pretty much the reason why we ended up using so many. But there we go. For a bad code card there, we get pretty lucky getting a prism rare in that non-rare spot, um, which is nice. Um, now let's see if we can actually finally in this pack, get uh, get a good, nice green code card to end off the Forbidden Light uh, packs here. Well, this one is definitely the hardest one to open, if that's going to mean anything to me. Um, okay. So, come on. And it does not mean anything at all. We get the bad code card again. Four in a row for us. Pretty bad run thus far. Maybe that means that the more expensive uh, Fates Collide packs will be a little bit nicer to us. So we've got a Fighting Type Energy, Sligu, Zygarde, Halucha, Bunnelby, Honage. Execute, Noibat, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow of a Poipal, and that's an Ultra Beast card. And then we have a Florges at the end, so I don't know what the Ultra Beast cards are, but it's number 55 in the set. That's about a 35 cent card, so not a bad card. Um, I don't know if it's something that I necessarily want to sleeve. Um, but it is a very nice looking card, so I think I will. Um, so that right there was the end of the Forbidden Light packs. Um, fairly unlucky there, but again, I'm just kind of hoping that that means that uh, the Fates Collide set might be a, uh, a little bit nicer to us here. Um, so... Just give me one quick second to kind of switch over to the um, the Fates Collide set on the TCG price guide. Okay, that was quick. Um, and now we can get these packs open. Um, these come with a little like protective uh, shield thing on them, so I kind of have to put a little bit more effort in to actually get them out. Um, which is fine. Um, there's one. Then we've got the second one here. So I believe with the X and Y set, this is the set that has the, the three to the front, uh, a three to the front card trick, I would, I believe. I think the four to the front only started with sun and moon, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so we got the three packs out now. Opening up pack
pack number one. Oh my god, that ripped super easy. That was wild. Okay. So, let's see here. We get the good code card, so we may be in luck. Um, let me just, again, I think that it's three. I really don't know. I really don't want to be wrong. Okay, no, this looks right. Okay, so we have a Dome Fossil Kabuto Halucha N Snubble Binnacle um, Bronzor and a Burmy there. Then we've got Carbink um, a Du a Du Ocean as our Reverse Hollow, and the final card in the pack is a Full Art Umbreon EX. So that is a beautiful looking card there. Definitely, I will definitely, definitely take that. And uh, let's kind of look through n by number here. It's 119 in the set, and that is a $15.57 card. This is going immediately into its sleeve. Already very, very good luck in the... Uh, In this, in the Fates Collide set, sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought. Very, very good pull there. I will definitely take that. Um, I'm trying to kind of get like a uh, a good kind of sample size of cards that I want to send in to get graded. It's very, very, very likely that this one will probably be one of them. In terms of the set, okay, I just pulled the most valuable card in the set, and I didn't even react. Um, yeah, so this is the most valuable card in the face glide set, and I just pulled it and, and, and didn't care. So, um, I think that's probably what I'll be known for if I ever go big for on on Pokemon uh, pack opening YouTube. I literally just pulled the most expensive card in this set, and I was like, ooh, cool. Looks like a good, cool card. <laughs> didn't even care. But we will definitely take that. Definitely, definitely will take that. And now, let's see... The, these other two packs are going to be just as kind to us here. We've got well, we've got the bad code card here, so kind of getting getting wrecked this time, but that is perfectly okay. After pulling that Umbreon, I oh this is confusing. Just got a Chaos Tower as the first card, and it looks really really cool. Um. I don't know if it's just a base card. It is. It's just an uncommon card. I have not seen Chaos Tower before, so that's why I was confused. Um, Weezing. Then we have Lass's Special. We've got Solosis. Snivy. Meowth here. Gothita. Jigglypuff. I friggin' love Jigglypuff. Reverse Hollow of Riolu. The final card in the pack is a Barbrackle. So, again, not as good as our first Fates Collides pack, but still pretty freaking good there. Well, not really, but it's fine. Again, I, we can't really complain about the uh, about these Fates Collides pack after we literally pulled the best card possible in the set, so... Um, pretty much can only go downhill from there, I guess. Okay. We get the bad code card again. We've had some pretty poor luck. Um, that's okay. Again, I say poor luck, but that Umbreonic kind of changed everything. We got the we got N here, Dugong, Wigglytuff, Solosis, Spoink, Gothita, Fennekin, Meowth. Reverse Hollow is the Wismer, and the final card is an Aerodactyl. So, again, pretty good there, I will admit. Um, I don't know, it's it's kind of been a weird episode, right? Like, I mean, do we complain about the luck we had? Do we take the one good pull we had and just roll with it? Like, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, but really, just kind of to recap here before this episode comes to a close, um, these were kind of the three pulls that we got. So 
I sleeved the Poipole just because it was I like the Ultra Beast card and I really like the look of that card. But that was still just a reverse hollow. Um, we got a Volcanion, which was our first. It was kind of a Prism Rare, I believe it was called. And then obviously we go ham and pull the Full Art Umbreon EX, which is the best card you could possibly get in the Fates Collide set. It is an Ultra Rare, very, very nice looking card. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> I really don't know how to feel about that. But I think that all in all, we did good here. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope some of you got hyped for the Umbreon. Um, again, I apologize that some of my reactions are just god awful lot. Most of the time I go into these, it's a brand new set. I didn't do, I didn't check the price guide beforehand. But um, now I'm pretty excited now that I know that how good the Umbreon is. But yes, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.